like my bed comforter. <laughs> I moved to Utah in January of 2015. And in April of the same year, my aunt got me this. This is a journal. God, every time I film something, I have the worst. I haven't showered today. I'm gonna be completely honest. Even worrying about showering is being very undued. <laughs> No, so I have uh, journaled on and off for seven years. So there's a lot in here. It's crazy to look back on some of the stuff I was worrying about or people I was interested in and oh, she didn't text back. Oh my God, we're, you know. I've definitely grown a lot um, from 22 to 29. This is a music journal. And I think this one is gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to having my kids eventually read. I don't really have exactly what I'm doing for them, like from my dad, but I have my dad's journal and some stuff um, that he had left behind when he passed. And I think it's just so fucking cool to see someone's honest self is what this, these are. I'm gonna pick a song and then I'm gonna talk about what like you know why I picked it why I think it's special and why I would like for them to listen to it so like for instance the first one I put uh, on there was from where you are by lifehouse and there's a specific reason it's not necessarily one of my favorite songs it's a good song but it has a, it's tied to a specific memory with a specific person and then I just have on this side you know music music that i think is very poetic and influential and just beautiful and icons and then i also have down here films right so this is just kind of the first page and i'm kind of unloading it and then the second one i did was brawny r brawny r by led zeppelin i just got that tattooed i just covered it that was my second song i just think that's a something that is worth a listen so and then I just have some other side notes on here. I think that's a cool thing to do. My kids aren't here, you know what I mean? They are with their mom. But I know them to be happy and they're uh, being raised well. And I think one day I think it'd be cool for them to have this stuff. I know, I mean, who knows? I don't know. I, I think it's cool that I have some stuff similar to this from my dad. I wish I had more. But my goal is to not only fill these up, but after that, fill an additional four more, and then an additional four more. And then one day, if they're interested, I think it's cool that they're going to have that option to sit and read some stuff about me and some of my uh, inspirations and some of my advice that I give. And that started when I was a 22-year-old man. And... Uh, well, I don't know if I want to say, man, I was an idiot when I was 22. I think I barely just got done being an idiot. I swear, the man's brain, I think, matures a lot slower than women. And yeah, we'll see what another 10 years brings. But I want it all to be documented. Leave stuff behind for your kids or your family or your friends or for you, just so you have something. I don't know. I don't know. It's cool to look back on stuff nostalgic okay i'm gonna go wash this greasy hair i'm just kidding i'm not i'm gonna go make a mimosa